Hey guys, welcome back. I'm tackling an issue this week that I get asked almost every day. How do you talk to your daughter about your mom's disease? For me, I've kind of stuck to three simple rules that have guided me in my conversations with her. I thought it might be helpful to show a short clip of my daughter and I actually talking about my mom's disease. So you can see how I go about coaching her when it comes to these difficult conversations. As you watch the clip, you're gonna see me really emphasizing three different things. Number one, honesty. I don't withhold very much information from my daughter about what's happening with my mom. She is living the experience with me. She is here, grandma lives with us, she sees her every single day. She knows the changes that have happened. Hiding or pretending like it's not happening is not a great way to help her cope with all of the changes that we're experiencing. The second thing that you're gonna see me doing quite a bit is trying to simplify my language and simplify my explanations as to exactly what's happening. She needs little bits and pieces to help her start to process what's happening. You might hear me say something like, grandma's brain is changing. She's not able to do the same things that she was able to do before, which is why we need to help her out a little bit. Grandma sometimes has issues with her memory, so she needs to be reminded. The last thing that you're gonna see me probably do is ask her a lot of questions. So it's sort of like coaching someone. You kind of want to get a feel for what's happening in their mind. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? I'm constantly asking my daughter, what are your thoughts? And that is a really good way for me to gauge what she needs from me in that moment. It's really important to acknowledge her feelings and to make it a safe space where she can share with me exactly what she's thinking, exactly what she's anxious about. What are, what are some of the questions that you have about what's happening with grandma? Why does she have it? Why does this happen to everybody? It doesn't happen to everybody, but a lot of people do get it. Why did she get it? Well, Doctors don't really know yet. It's all just your genetics and the way that you were built. I, I think maybe stress has something to do with it. How long will this be? We have no idea how long this will be. Not even the doctors know? Not even the doctors know. That is kind of in God's hands. And a lot of changes for you. You know I know that, right? You know how proud I am of you? Mm -hmm. For how strong you've been? It's really hard. I bet it is. I bet it's really, really difficult. You know, I always kind of want to check in on you and see how you're doing and talk, keep, keep talking about it. Right? Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you. You too. One of the things that I did really early on when my mom was diagnosed is I let her teacher know and I contacted the school to see if there was a counselor. Ella is able to speak with a counselor once a week. It's an outside third person perspective and it's been a really powerful tool for her to process what's been happening. If you find this video to be helpful, please make sure you like it and share it with others who you think might benefit from it. As always, stay strong, stay grateful, and stay present. I'll see you next time. Thank you.